Welcome back to our channel. The biggest breaking new it is Steve Wright, a radio DJ who worked for the BBC for almost 40 years, has passed away at the age of 69. The 1980s saw his entry into the broadcasting industry, and he later hosted programs on BBC Radio 1 and Radio 2. The reason behind the demise remains unknown. We announce the passing of our beloved Steve Wright with deep sorrow and profound regret. Wright's family stated in a statement shared with BBC News on Tuesday, Steve is survived by his father, Richard, his brother Lawrence, and his daughters Lucy and Tom. He also leaves behind his brother Lawrence. As we all mourn, the family asks for privacy during this extremely trying time. Also, much-loved close friends and colleagues, and millions of dedicated radio listeners who had the good fortune and great pleasure of allowing Steve into their daily lives as one of the UK's most enduring and popular radio personalities. After starting out as a Saturday night DJ on BBC Radio One in 1980, Wright went on to broadcast Steve Wright in the afternoon, and from 1994 to 1995, the Radio One Breakfast Show. He hosted Steve Wright's Saturday Show, and Sunday Love Songs on BBC Radio 2 from 1996 to 1997 after working in commercial radio. With an emphasis on entertainment news, factoids trivia, and interviews with famous people, he revived Steve Wright's Afternoon in 1999. After several years on Radio 2, Wright announced his retirement in September 2022. You had your time, you had the power, you've yet to have your finest power. The last lyrics of Queen's Radio Gaga, which he played out to. And with that, Steve Wright in the afternoon on Radio 2 comes to a close. Wright declared as the music faded. All of us at the BBC are heartbroken to hear this terribly sad news. Tim Davey, Director General of the BBC, said in his tribute, Steve was a really remarkable broadcaster who has been an enormous influence on countless people's lives for a long time he continued. The consummate professional, he had a profound affinity for radio and a remarkable ability to connect with his audience. Radio 2's mid-morning host Ken Bruce, who worked with the station for 30 years, expressed his totally shocked reaction upon hearing of Wright's death. Lunch was going to be planned to commemorate the awarding of his much-deserved MBE. His audience adored him because he was a brilliant and original broadcaster. The radio industry has suffered a tremendous loss, he remarked on X. When asked about her colleagues' DJs, Sarah Cox said they were absolutely shattered throughout her radio role. Her statement read, It's really hard to know what to say about the news of Steve Wright's passing, except we are all absolutely devastated, shocked, and blindsided by this news. Not only was Steve a fantastic broadcaster, but he was also incredibly generous. I know that my colleagues' DJs will be just as devastated as I am. He was funny, kind, and an integral part of the Radio 2 family. I can only image the sadness you're experiencing. One of our greatest ever broadcasters was the description given by Wright by fellow BBC Radio 2 radio host Scott Mills. Former BBC Radio 2 host Simon Mayo praised Wright as one of the greats and a amazing performer while fellow broadcaster Joe Wiley referred to Wright as the broadcaster's broadcaster and expressed gratitude for his support and music chat over the years. Whether he was interviewing you or enjoying it as a listener, you looked forward to joining every day. Dame Esther Ranson told PA Media of Wright, adding that he formed a type of club. Ranson was interviewed by Wright multiple times. He made what is really an uncommon quality sound like it was easy. Life won't be the same without you here. Broadcaster Zoball wrote on X, I admire and love you, my friend. Despite receiving the MBE in the New Year's Honors list for his contributions to radio in 2024, Wright persisted in hosting Sunday love songs every week. His tenure as Saturday afternoon host of Radio 2's Pick of the Pops began in October 2023. You Ultimate Kelly Song and Steve Wright's Peter K. Christmas Special which featured an interview with the comedian, were among the many network specials that he hosted. According to BBC Radio 2 presenter Helen Thomas, and we all loved him for it, 
because Wright had a deeper understanding of the camaraderie and connection that radio could foster than anybody else. He was an absolute star in his field, paying close attention to every last detail. His guests loved him for it. He made them laugh, was fair, and did his best to highlight their careers while entertaining us with incredible anecdotes. Astonishment washed over Thomas as he sat across from the iconic broadcaster whose broadcasts he had admired as a child in Hull. Steve was the first presenter I ever produced, more than 20 years ago.